Those tornadoes that hit the Midwest and Northeast overnight as far east as Pennsylvania and New Jersey, even rare warnings right here in New York City. Yeah, it was a pretty incredible night. Take a live look at New Jersey this morning. Homes there damaged, a high school hit with students inside. Thankfully, no one was injured. Also take a look at the damage there in Morgantown, Pennsylvania this morning. So many people around the country waking up to devastation right this now. This is such a serious situation. There have now been at least eight tornadoes per day reported to the National Weather Service for 12 straight days. That is more than 350 total reported twisters and at least seven fatalities in just the last Such week. Such a tough month. Mm -hmm. Tornado emergency was declared in Kansas overnight. After this massive twister tore through, it sent debris flying 47 miles all the way to Kansas City International Airport. ABC's Gio Benitez starts us off in Lawrence, Kansas with the latest. Good morning, Gio. George, good morning to you. The twister that did this was on the ground for two and a half hours. Come with me here so that you can take a look at this right here because the debris is just everywhere. This house is hollowed out. Now, the family that lives here, they were able to get out in time because they heard those warnings right before this twister hit. Now, what made this storm so dangerous is that the twister was hidden behind a wall of rain. Overnight, a tornado emergency declared west of Kansas City. A vicious tornado tearing through the area, leaving a trail of destruction in its path. This is downtown Kansas City, and I can hear those tornado sirens going off right now because that storm system is moving toward the downtown area. That twister decimating neighborhoods and injuring at least a dozen people. The massive funnel, estimated to be a mile wide, touching down near Lawrence, Kansas, before ripping through the region, churning up debris, turning the sky to black, only lightning illuminating the dark skies. We saw debris and we screamed, it's here, it's here. Customers and employees huddling for safety at this gas station as that powerful storm hit, knocking buildings clean off their foundations, peeling away roofs, leaving homes looking like dollhouses. We could hear the house being destroyed above us and heard the roof come in and knew that everything upstairs was pretty much gone. Passengers at Kansas City International Airport sheltering in parking garage tunnels until the storm passed. The airport forced to close, littered with debris carried by the storm from more than 40 miles away. House after house flattened, trees toppled, power lines downed, outages leaving 13,000 people in the dark. This morning, residents are starting to pick up the pieces. A long process that's just getting started in Dayton, Ohio, just one day after an EF3 twister touched down and obliterated homes, killing an 81-year-old man. And back here live in Lawrence, Kansas, this family, like so many others, they're going to have to start all over again because there is just so much damage here. Now, again, at least 12 people injured, but incredibly, no deaths have been reported so far. George. Thank goodness for that. Okay, Gio, thanks very much. I want to bring in now the mayor of Linwood, Brian Christensen. Brian, thank you for joining us this morning. And, Mayor, you should know we're all thinking of you this morning. We know you've been hit so hard. I also know you've been out surveying the damage already. What can you tell us about what you've seen? I've never seen anything like it. It's it's incredible. There's it just picks one house randomly and takes it away, and the next house might not even get touched. Uh, the way it moves and picks and chooses, it's it's incredible. It, is, it certainly is. As Gio reported, 12 injured so far. So far, no reports of fatalities. Do you have any more information on that? Yeah, I just spoke with some people that said there is guaranteed no fatalities. Well, thank goodness. And do you know, do, is everyone, as far as you know, in your town accounted for? Yes, everyone in my town's accounted for. We are a small town. It's just under 400 people. Uh, everyone has come together already to start cleaning up and helping. And it's such a big job ahead. Which areas have been hardest hit? Just outside of our city limits has been the hardest hit in Leavenworth County. And, and, and do you know the extent of the damage there? Uh, there's a friend of mine was in their basement and there is nothing left. They took, it took the house, the carpet off the floor. Oh my God. Everything is gone. I, I know you all in Kansas are used to tornado season, but this one has been so, so horrendous. It has. I've lived in the same home for 22 years and this is the first time I've ever actually went to my basement for shelter. First time? Yes. Thank goodness the warnings came in time. It did. And what can you tell us about what's next for everyone in your town? 
just a lot of cleanup. Uh, everybody's going to come together. We have a lot of support coming out this morning to help. Well, Mayor, we are thinking of you this morning. Thanks for taking a few minutes to speak with us. Thank you. Well, you heard it right there. He's never seen anything yeah. like it in Kansas. And as you said, thank goodness the warnings came in time. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.